All right, at this point, you've pretty much gone through everything we would consider as a, the methodology of a hack. You've seen the process that we've gone through, the five stages. Now, the rest of this course is going to focus on specific aspects that you may need to focus on. Specifically with this module, we're going to deal with Trojans and backdoors. Trojans and backdoors are pretty well publicized as something that you need to look at when we're talking about a hack or defending yourself or something that gets used. A Trojan gets its name, as we would imply, from the Trojan horse of the infamous Trojan War, being that it's normally something that is smuggled in through some sort of legitimate type of application, and it's just bundled with it. So what we need to do is we need to go over what Trojans are. We'll talk about the difference between an overt and a covert channel. We'll take a look at some of the Trojans that are out there, and in general, there's a pretty set way that these things work. We'll look at indications of a Trojan attack. We'll talk about some of the different Trojans that have been out there in the past, so you can be familiar with them. Talk about some of the tools you can use. This is actually where it gets really interesting when you see how easy it is to add that Trojan into a legitimate application. That's our wrappers that we use. Then we'll take a look at ICMP tunneling, which is a really nasty trick. We'll take a look at how you can construct your own Trojans, take a look at how to detect them, then how to actually get rid of some Trojans, and what we can do to try and eliminate the possibility, or at least limit the possibility, of Trojan infection.